All right, so I've been telling people for years, the most underrated golf destination in the country, Central Oregon. You got Sun River, you got Tethero, you got Brasada, and you've got what might be my personal favorite, Pronghorn. This place is absolutely amazing, and considering all my golf trips lately have been canceled, and it's only three hours from Portland, I figured what better way Get away for a little while, go uh, play some amazing golf, and show you what makes Central Oregon so great, in particular, what makes Pronghorn awesome. So, in this video, you're gonna follow me along. We're gonna play the Nicholas Course, which is one of the top 100 public courses in the country, and I'm gonna show you why this place is so cool. Let's do this. All right, it's remote out here. Pronghorn sits on 20,000 acres of BLM land, Bureau of Land Management land, which means they're not gonna build anything around it. So it's four miles straight through that to get to the resort, and you truly feel like you're out here. I mean, if you look at an aerial view, it's like Pronghorn, and then nothingness as far as the eye can see. So, you know, you really do get to escape when you're out here. But it's not too remote. You're less than half an hour from Bend, you're less than half an hour from the Redmond Airport, which has flights from like San Francisco and Denver and Portland. So getting here is actually pretty easy. It's about a three, just over a three hour drive from Portland. So it's an easy place to go to a long weekend. And that's what I'm looking for. And I want, I want a place where I can go have a retreat, relax, play some great golf, hang out with friends and family. About as good as it gets. Okay, this, this is kind of an underrated thing, but I feel like this is a great place for family. You look at a lot of golf resorts, Bandon. It's like you might go down with your, with your dad or you go out with your buddies, but it's a die-hard place for golfers. Pronghorn, you come out here, it's like you've got the spa, you've got all the amenities for you know your wife, for your significant other, you've got places for the kids, you've got playgrounds, but when you're out here, it truly feels like a place where you can just relax, you can have fun. I've now played this course with my father-in-law, I played it with my dad as I'm doing today, I was best man in a wedding out here, and so it's really a good place for community where you don't have any other distractions, you don't have the rest of the world and all the crap going on, you can just come out here and truly enjoy yourself. And I, I think that's true, more true here at Pronghorn than just about any golf resort in Oregon. Another thing I love about Pronghorn is the value. It's not the cheapest place. I mean, if you were to just come out in the dead of summer, peak rates to play the Nicholas course, you know, it's pushing $200. Uh, but there's some really good values if you do stay and play deals. The quality of the course, the quality of the lodging. Um, it is truly a five-star resort out here uh, in terms of both the quality of the golf and the lodging. It's not cheap, but it's pretty good value. All right, a lot of times you go to golf resorts that were built in like the 60s or the 70s and the rooms are dated and everything feels old. Well, Pronghorn, basically brand new. The Huntington Lodge was just built like last year, two years ago. So everything's fancy, everything's sparkly, everything's comfortable. So you're gonna sleep well when you're out here at Pronghorn. All right, this might be the most controversial thing I've ever said on Breaking 80, but if you give me 10 golf trips between Bend and Bandon, I might go like six bend, four bend, maybe. Maybe 50-50, but that's how much I like it over here. The diversity in golf. You've got high desert championship, amazing golf here at Pronghorn. You've got true Northwest style championship golf at Crosswater. Uh, you've got Lynx golf in the desert, all fescue at Tethero. All of these have top 100 public courses at the resorts. It's just so different than anywhere else. You know, Bandon, great courses, all unique within themselves, but here you have three very distinct different landscapes, and frankly, it's underrated. I'm saying it, it's true. <laughs> 12 through 15 at Pronghorns, one of my favorite stretches of holes in Oregon. You got short par four, 12th hole. Uh, the 13th, big dogleg right around water, a beautiful par 3 14th, and the 15th is a brutal uphill par 5 that's got cool jagged edges that come out. It's a really beautiful hole. Once you get to the back nine, that's where the Nicholas Course of Pronghorn really starts to uh, shine. And on a night like this, middle of June, when I've been stuck in my house for the last three months, not sure there's many other places I'd rather be on the planet. Got the whole course to ourselves, which is often how it feels when you're out here. Life doesn't suck. 
All right, so 13th hole of Nicholas Course of Pronghorn. Arguably, you could call this the signature hole. I don't know what they actually call the signature hole because there's a lot of holes that could be the signature hole. Big cape hole, dogleg uh, right. You got the green all the way over there. I've only ever seen somebody clear the water and hit the green once off their drive. But here you got to go left of the bunker if you want to play it a little bit safe, right of the bunker if you want to uh, take on the water a little bit more. You got lots of options, and frankly, it's just a really fun golf hole. Um, what do you think the odds I'm going to hit it in the water are? Shut up. You go. A little fairway. It's called position A. I don't know a whole lot about that, but I'll take it tonight. All right, hit three balls on this tee shot. One of the tougher tee shots out here. Three birdie putts. I still got two drives that were even better than these three. Easy game. Okay, so we had five tee shots. Perfect. Three of those I actually hit. We got three shots on the green. So we got three birdie putts. How many of those do you think are actually gonna go in? One tap and par. Two tap and pars. Really looking forward to that birdie bottle. But hey, did you see the waterfall? Okay, but in all seriousness, that's one of the great things about being out here, especially twilight round. You got the whole place to yourself. You can hit balls, you can have fun, you can play games. It's super casual. And that's what I love about Pronghorn, is it's relaxed. You come out here, you have a good time, it's not super stuffy, you can just kind of chill and enjoy yourself. And not all golf resorts are like that. Pronghorn has one of the best practice facilities you're ever gonna see. I mean, they've got a tree in the putting green. But you come in here, the driving range is amazing. They've got real greens out there, real targets. Putting green's fantastic. They've got chipping area, you name it. You could literally just spend days out here doing nothing but practicing. So if that's your jam, then this is the spot for you. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot to like here at Pronghorn, but what I haven't told you yet is part of why this place is so special to me personally. So here on the Nicholas course, this was the very first top 100 public course that I played when I started breaking 80 back in 2012. I got a $50 tee time on Golf Now in early March. The course was all brown, still perfect, you know, perfectly manicured, uh, but it was still really early in the season. And it was the first time I played an architecturally interesting course. It was the first time I went from hole to hole and was like, whoa, this is, this is cool, like, is this, this is what golf courses are like? And that's what inspired, you know, the Top 100 Quest, that's what ins inspired, you know, the 80 Club. Um, and so this was the course in the resort that kind of did it all for me. Whether it's your first time playing a really, really nice course and going to a super fancy resort, or you've been all over the world, uh, this place holds up to, well, pretty much anything. Um, it's beautiful, it's remote, the golf is great, and there's not many places in the world I would rather be. So if you get the chance, come out to Pronghorn, come out to Bend, experience all that it has to offer because, like I said, it might very well be the most underrated golf destination in the country. We'll see you soon.